Soon may the weller man come, bring us coffee, tea, and rum. One day when the tongue is done, take our leave and go. At a fair When I first started sailing, I typically stayed in a relatively confined area, just sailing about, tacking back and forth, and trying to develop some skill at the helm. Eventually I did develop that base level of sailing ability, and I got bored of just staying in one area, just kind of sailing aimlessly. I became more adventurous, and my outings more broad ranging. I began to set out with a specific destination in mind voyaging to some unknown island, or sailing to a new creek and seeing how far I could row or pole up it. I find this task-driven sailing to be the most satisfying and enjoyable, and I think it also results in the most entertaining videos. But every now and then, I get the urge just to go sailing for sailing's sake, like I used to. This protected cove on the western side of Kentucky Lake is the perfect location for some spur-of-the-moment sailing in my 12-foot baby skiff. Winds are out of the northwest, light but pretty steady. To me, there's nothing more fun than making a creek run, which involves negotiating the natural obstacles of the brushy, shallow creeks in this cove. A lot of boats couldn't do this, but the baby skiff is very shallow drafting, has a very shallow rudder, and even has some lateral resistance with the dagger board up. You may think I'm in trouble sailing downwind into this shallow area, but with a few strokes of the oars, I'm back out to open water. Even with the sail aloft, it's not too difficult rowing a short distance into light winds. You'll notice that most of the time in my videos, I keep the oars shipped and rigged and ready to use. Mainly, that's just for convenience of keeping them out of the way, but it can actually get you out of some tight spots if you need to use them quickly.
There's something really special about cypress trees with their unique water adaptation. I'm always happy to see them growing in large clusters like this. As you might guess, cypress makes excellent boat building lumber due to its rot resistance. The mouth of the creek had been dammed up by beavers, and interestingly, they seem to have an outer dam and an inner dam. I did some upwind experimenting, reaching both with and without the dagger board. I think given the right conditions, I could really put the dagger board to use better, more practically, when I'm voyaging and trying to reach a specific destination. Most of my voyages involve running and broad reaching almost exclusively, but I'm starting to get a better idea of what the skiff can do upwind, and it has some ability there, but it really needs flat water. North of the Cypress Creek, I discovered what I thought was another creek initially. As I got further up it, I realized it was actually a man-made cut. There were several houses located here and a couple of docks in this man-made waterway, but they seemed old and in a state of disrepair. So I have to guess that this cut was made in order for the community to access the lake. There were several tree trunks and underwater hazards so on the way out, I thought it would be a good opportunity to experiment with steering with an oar. This isn't something that I've attempted very much, so I'm not very good at it, but I can definitely see that it would have some utility for water too shallow, even for my shallow rudder. This channel will continue to charge along under full sail, but at CumberlandRover.com I offer videos not available on this channel or anywhere else. The videos and articles are free, I don't run ads, but I do have a store offering some unique handmade products of my own design that I think will be of interest to sailors and outdoor enthusiasts.